Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we usually do. We're actually going to be looking at YouTubers who are exploring the dark web, but more accurately, I guess you could say we're looking at YouTubers who are scamming people into thinking that they're going on the dark web. If you've never heard of this community on YouTube before, I don't blame you. I did not know this existed until very recently, and it turns out it's a thriving community. Strangely, I don't think this community actually has a real name, but I'm just gonna call them the dark web community for the sake of this video because I don't know what else to call them, but it seems that within the dark web community there are certain videos that they like to do a lot and one of the biggest ones is unboxing dark web mystery boxes. My gut reaction would be that anything that was actually from the dark web or someone who was actually going on the dark web wouldn't be able to post this shit on YouTube, so I'm already a little bit of a skeptic, not gonna lie, um, but I thought that today we could look at some of the videos and we're gonna be looking at one channel specifically and it's called Mindseed TV. Just looking at his channel, it's quite clear that he thrives on spookiness or spooky content in general. Most of his popular uploads have to do with mystery boxes going horribly wrong and unboxing mystery boxes and cursed debuck box, whatever the hell that is. And then he also has a Momo video because of course he does. I'm sorry, actually, I have to correct myself here. It turns out that Mindseed TV doesn't just do horror, he also does tech. So between his videos that are like, cursed voodoo doll brings bad omens to my home, he also has best gaming headphone review. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely very interested in the dark web mystery box videos because when I think mystery box, I think of those makeup companies that like, during, I don't know, any holiday season, they're like, guys, look, for $25, you can have this box that could be full of shit, but maybe it's not. I imagine though that the dark web isn't having some sort of Cyber Monday sale featuring mystery boxes, so I don't understand where the demand for mystery boxes would come from and why they would exist on the dark web, but maybe they, maybe they are real. Of course, before we start today's video, we have to do this week's sweaty shout out. This week, it goes to hoho.bianca who sent this tweet that says, I'm telling my kids that these were the chain smokers. If you want to get a sweaty shout out for yourself, all you have to do is subscribe to me on YouTube, which makes you a sweaty, and then follow me on Instagram and DM me your favorite meme of the week on Instagram and you might get chosen. So this mystery box video is titled, buying a real dark web mystery box goes horribly wrong. Very scary. Asked Brie if she wanted to do this unboxing with me and she agreed to it after a lot of hard persuasion. However, she didn't really want anything to do with the ordering process of this package. Listen, I know I sound super naive by saying this, but I personally have never been on the dark web before, so I don't know what it looks like, but is that actually what it looks like? Because I don't know why, but I just like dark web, I picture it all just being in night mode. Like that just looks like a Craigslist ad. I had to do all that on my own. If you don't know what the dark web is, it's a hidden part of the internet. That I love how dark web is immediately connected to creepy guy with a hood on the no face brain pouring down. Most people can't access on a regular browser. You would need a special browser to get on is the dark web. Is it the deep web, web or the dark web? web? Oh, he just explained us. <laughs> There's a lot of bad things that happen on the deep web and that is the part of the web that they call the dark web. Wherever the bad stuff is taking place that can't be tracked and that's stuff like drug trafficking and Harry Styles fan fiction. I found these mystery boxes Boxes that were being sold and I found one for $300. Now that's what I went ahead and ordered. This was a week ago. $300? <laughs> you paid $300 for this shit? I didn't want to give my home address so I had it sent to a P.O. box and it was delivered today. I am not in this shit at all. It was all my idea. This is him. Blame me. Yeah, I'm not involved in this. I'm in the video, but I'm not involved in this. Like, I'm just here filming. Not involved though. Also, I have this cool little head cam so that you guys could actually see what I'm taking out of the box as each item comes out and I can give you guys a close up. I also have a promo code for this head cam, so if you want to get 20% off, just put in uh, Dark Web 101. Let's open up the package. I have no parts in this. I'm just here. Can we make that like extremely clear? This girl has spent the entire video being like, I don't want to be here. I have no part in this. Like, then why are you in the video? There's some numbers on top of the box. Five, five, two, five. I love how off the bat he's already like, these weird numbers on the outside of the package. Are they hieroglyphics? I'm pretty sure that's just basic stuff that shows up on a parcel, like regardless of whether you're buying it from the dark web or Aritzia. Also, what the hell are these sound effects? He's literally just opening a box and he's like... It's 
kind of cool. All right, so this was a $300 box that I got. This is a Samsung. I love how he's talking about this right now as if it's like a BoxyCharm unboxing video or like a FabFitFun. He's like, all right, so I paid $300 for this and this is a Samsung and Samsungs usually go for like 400 bucks. So we already have the full value here, folks. You so. cannot get me to pay $300 for a box full of random junk. People want to know. You want to know. We don't want to know either. Maybe someone's watching us right now through the camera. Or maybe you just spent $300 on a box that just has an old phone in it. It's a black home screen with one app on it. Might as well see what's in the gallery. It says unable to establish wireless data connection. Okay, so obviously there's no SIM card in this. All sorts of errors popping up on this thing. This guy is going in as deep as that Monster Energy Drink mom. It's wireless data connection. The letter Vav is okay, so also the number no six. Numbers. Short top, SIM long card. tail. Short top. I can't even blame him though, because if I spent $300 on a box full of garbage, I would be trying to find the deeper meaning of everything too. This moisturizer, it's called Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. But what does Bum Bum mean? This looks like a backpack. There's a name on it. What's the name say? A Barnett. A Barnett. That's definitely a kid's backpack. I love how he keeps explaining everything to us as if we're like two years old. He's like, ah, yes, this seems to be a kid's backpack. Kid's backpack. Well, that's just weird. What is weird about a backpack? All right, well, I'm glad I got these gloves on now. Just See, hair on it. I wore these gloves for a reason. Is that animal hair? That is an animal hair. I hate to break it to you guys, but the tail on the My Little Pony backpack is not real animal hair. I think you just mean that's the hair from the, the pony's tail. So I'm gonna open it up and we'll it see looks what disgusting. we got. Yeah, it's dirty as hell. It's definitely used. I mean, it's torn to pieces like there. <laughs> what? Are we looking at the same backpack? It just looks lightly used. What do you mean torn to pieces? Really? What is this? My guess, could be wrong here, is um, it's a pair of jeans. This is like, like a little boy's outfit. In a girl's backpack. In a girl's backpack. That's strange. I just got goosebumps. Or maybe he just likes My Little Pony and wanted a My Little Pony backpack. A boy having a pink and purple backpack? There's just no way. There's absolutely no way that that could be a thing. There's absolutely no way. Let's hope that it's not what we would assume it would be. Why is it in a girl's backpack though? What do you assume it would be? I don't really understand what connection they're making here and not mentioning. Like, it's clothes inside of a backpack. What? Where is your mind going to automatically? And I think that most people who are watching this right now are probably assuming what I'm assuming. Um... Actually, I'm quite lost at the moment. I hope not. All right, there's something hard in the front section. That is weird. Why is he looking like that? What the fuck is this thing? I hate that the first thing I thought of when I saw this was that picture of Nash Greer and Miley Cyrus. And there's actually stains all over this thing. Don't get me wrong, I genuinely think that this box isn't real, but I hope that it genuinely isn't real because the thought of whoever made this box intending for someone to find it really creepy on the dark web, seeing this video and seeing me laugh, like, I'm gonna end up dead dead. I am always with you. For some reason, that does not comfort me in any way. There's some books in here. Is that books? In a backpack? Mask type stuff. All right, so there's some altercation. Wow. Yeah, that looks legit. Definitely doesn't look like you did that five minutes before you started filming. The little kid's eyes are like X'd out. There's more X's on the eyes on another page. As much as I do think that it was this guy who did the doodle business in this book, even if it wasn't, back in grade five or like in like elementary school, kids when they were bored would doodle shit like this in textbooks all of the time, especially crossing up like whatever kids' pictures were in the book just to be little shits. Like this isn't spooky. I'm a father. So like when it comes to stuff with little kids being involved, having something like this, I don't really know Like kids get abducted every single day. Wait, what? You're connecting all of this to a child abduction? It's a backpack with a book in it. 
and some weird stone carving of Jesus. I just want that shit as far away from me as possible. I love how the girl's role in this video so far has literally just been sitting a good five feet away from everything happening, just going, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. What is this book? This is a pop-up book. It's like a black market bootleg version of Peppa Pig. This was a pop-up number. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but the way he zoomed in on that. So that's something else. Let me get this straight. There's a photo of a little boy pasted in this book, and upon finding it, their only response is, oh, well, that's something. You know what, guys? Maybe he's actually part of the book. It seems very on theme that it would be four boats, little boy. Can I just mention that this makes me feel very uncomfortable? It's making me feel uncomfortable too. Like I said, I, I have children. Why does he keep mentioning that him having children is the reason he's uncomfortable? Like, as if he didn't have kids, he'd be like, oh, the thought of children being kidnapped, that's ah, fine. I don't, I don't have kids. It smells like, like rotten fruit almost. And there's two things inside of here. Um, they look like dolls. Spooky doll, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with the spooky doll? I hope they're dolls. Yeah, I hope they're just dolls too. As opposed to what? They would be like miniature people? That box smelled really bad. <sighs> Don't be rude. That is some weird stuff right there. It literally just looks like a normal doll. Is that hair? What? That's her hair right there. That is hair. And right there. That's not my hair. That's not my hair. And right there. It's everywhere. There's like hair on these dolls? What is this? I think this is where it's coming from. Oh my god. It's almost as if the hair was put on the doll so that the doll could have hair. These dolls smell like shit. I'm gonna be candid with you guys. The spookiest part about these dolls so far is that they smell like hot garbage. Is that voodoo? That's what they always say in the movies and stuff, right? Yeah, because everything you see in movies is 100% real and authentic. Oh about... look, this, this one has something in the back. Ooh. So there's no hair on this one, but there's like a little sack. Is it poo? I think it's poo. What is that? I think that's a tooth. Who do you think gave you teeth? They also changed the background music around this point in the video to something that sounds like a bunch of those minion things singing in unison. Most people think that food is like That looks like a piece of crumpled paper. Wearing gloves while touching this stuff. Do, do gloves inhibit the, uh, the curse? The spirits? The curse? Oh. Do my dollar store gloves stop the curse from from cursing me. Can you imagine the spirits are like on their way to curse him and they're like, ah oh, shit, he's wearing gloves. There's bottles in here. They're empty, I think. They look like they're open. 10. 10. Number 10 on this bottle. I just can't picture people on the dark web being this corny. Like, there's no way this is real. So the rest of that video, they pretty much just keep pulling out less and less interesting things. So we'll move on to the next one, which is titled Buying Another Real Dark Web Mystery Box. Disturbing contents. Very scary. Do not attempt. So a long time ago, we made a dark web. Did he fart? And I decided personally that I would never make another dark web mystery box video again. It was too creepy. It was very disturbing. Very scary. The things that were coming out of that package all seemed like they had something to do with missing children. Little did I know at the time that there was a name on a backpack that would later appear as a missing person. Is it a coincidence? Possibly. Or did you look up the name of a missing person and write it on the backpack before you filmed the video? And I was also getting hacked into my personal computer with threatening messages telling me to take the video down that I posted online. That's a scary message they sent? And I was also getting hacked into my personal computer with threatening messages. So I'm not gonna lie, this unboxing takes deadass four years to start, so we can just skip to when they actually start taking things out. They first pull out this check machine that for some reason has greedy bastard written on it. But, yeah, I mean, oh, look, what is that? Huh. Got what he deserved. Kind of that. No, pull out. Right here. Oh yeah. yeah. She was mine. Now it's getting weird. Wait a second. One Direction should have won a Grammy. 
Poo poo pee pee? Watch me. I'm being interested. I don't be in this player. Anything that comes to like viewing stuff. I know. You know what I I'm mean, saying? Like, what if there's a murder scene on here? As far as legal is concerned, the way I look at it is like, listen, what if you go to, you go to, a store and they're selling the VHS, yeah. like a straight up tape with the Lion King. Right. And you put it in the DVD player and you see something terrible. It's just, what if your eyes see something like traumatized? You can't, yeah, what if your eyes see something you can't take back? Yeah. Can you imagine that they went out of their way to get like a VHS tape player and then they put the tape in and they turn the TV on and they're anticipating something crazy and then this starts playing. Yeah, hold on. That's what is that? It's like C4. That could be like a bomb. I don't even know if we should tamper with that. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... I don't know. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Alright, so I mean, the picture's a nice picture up until he puts the wire on it. But this, here. See that, guys? And I don't know if we should even tamper with this. Tape over a box. It's a bomb. How would you how would you be able to tell? I have no idea. You hear anything? What the hell was this guy expecting to happen if he put his ear up to it? It's okay, don't worry, I promise I'm not a bomb. The chance of it of being a bomb or slim, right? But like you think it would you know, would it get through the mail and all that if some Yeah yeah some, you know what I mean like Logic has entered the chat. Yeah, do a little cut. cut, I'll peel a little bit back, and we'll just get it to take a peek at, you know. Yeah, this looks like a sufficient replacement to a bomb squad. I know, I know WD. That's what's in digital. Oh, that's a hard drive. Um, yeah, that's like a, a portable hard drive. It's like drive. an external hard drive. Yeah, it's a portable hard drive. That means there's probably something on there that we have to look at. Yeah. I'm not looking at it here. Let's say, you got your laptop? You want to look it up? It's not going to attach to my laptop, bro. The only way that I'll look at what's in that hard drive is if you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn my post notifications on, guys, and we'll look at it in the next video. That's weird. It's got words instead of like. Instead of numbers? The numbers or a letter, it's got little words on it. When you read the word combinations that they got, it literally just sounds like a demented version of Dr. Seuss. I am one girl. He are black beast. She have red foot. You is big face. We had small debt. They is many love. I don't know if it's tape or marker. Flip. That's pretty weird. It is weird. Priest with his eyes blacked out. Between this with the eyes blacked out and is the that, Jesus thing, it's just... Yeah, is that, is that Pope John Paul? Is that my man Pope John Paul? Yeah. As far as like what's coming across, it's the she that doesn't make sense to me yet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like who got, is mine? Who is she? Who is she? Our clothing. It's thrift haul time. So instead of going to a thrift store this week, because I've just been finding the places in my area have been a little bit overpicked, I decided that I'd buy a dark web box and man, did it pay off. I got this really, really cute oversized blazer and it only just smells a little bit like a dead man. The VHS says, I'm gonna give us, you would think if, if this is someone trying to tell us something or yeah, like yeah. be like, hey, you know, it's, it's their way of relinquishing guilt for something that they did or whatever yeah, the yeah. case is, you know, everything in here would have a purpose. Right. No offense or anything, but anybody with that kind of penmanship does not scare me. So for the rest of the video, they basically just spend the last five minutes going, ooh, this is so spooky and scary. Like, whoa. And of course they do not go through either the VHS tape or the hard drive. And they claim that it's because the video is just so scary and overwhelming right now. They can't picture themselves putting that on us as a viewer. And um, that roughly translates to they want more ad revenue. I think it goes without saying though that this is fake as fuck. And if it's not, um, if the person who made this box is watching, I'm sorry, please don't kill me. Now, even though I personally don't believe in this stuff, um, it seems that a lot of people do. These videos get millions upon millions of views. The comment sections are full of people speculating. And I don't think there's anything wrong with people I guess having fun with it and like speculating what everything could be tied to as long as they don't take it too seriously. Um, the community was definitely interesting to explore, but it's probably going to be my last time visiting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at this side of YouTube, and if you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And if you want to follow me at side of YouTube, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which are both Casey Onzo. I also do my Music Mondays on Instagram now, which I used to do here, but I can't because of copyright issues. But otherwise, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.